Hey guys, it's Techtopia, and today I'm going to be doing a video specifically on the Zune theme. Now, what is the Zune theme? Well, it's a theme for Windows, which is basically uh, orange and black. Now, if we look here at my uh, taskbar, I got my start menu over here, and then I got this nice sleek black and orange design on the bottom of my screen here. So, uh, let me show you uh, a few examples of the Zune theme. So, we got it, you know, like right here on my desktop. I'll just open up a folder here. As you can see, it's nice and black and nice and sleek and cool looking. At the top, I like this theme. And basically, it's a breath of fresh air if you've been using Windows XP for uh, months and you're really tired of uh, its visual designs and uh, basically you want a change of looks. So, uh, the Zune theme is a free uh, theme that you can download from uh, a website. I can't remember it. But basically, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make this video, and I'm gonna show you how to switch from your normal default theme into the Zune theme. Now, uh, the Zune theme is only for Windows XP, but I will show you a way where you can uh, get it on Windows Vista as well. But anyways, uh, first of all, let's uh, show you how you can get the Zune theme on Windows XP. So I'm in Google. Just search up Zune theme download and go to the first link, go.microsoft.com. Don't worry about viruses or anything because it's made by Microsoft, it's totally safe, and uh, don't worry about it. So you're gonna hit save file, and uh, open it up, and here it is. You're gonna run it, uh, and install it just like you would with any installation wizard. Uh, I can't really confirm this, but I think it asks you to restart your computer, but I don't know that for sure. But it, uh, on my other computer, which is an XP computer, it's a very easy install, doesn't take very long. It's pretty quick, very easy to use, and uh, you should be having your Zune theme up and running in a matter of minutes. Now for Windows Vista, it's a little bit different. What you're gonna do is go to the link in my description, and I've uploaded a compressed uh, compressed folder to ZShare, and uh, you can download that folder. I don't know how big the folder is. It is uh, two megabytes, so that's very small. Uh, basically, there's two uh, things in the folder. Uh, one is called Style Selector, and the other is called Styles. Now, uh, you can add styles to this style folder, but it's a little difficult, and uh, it will need its own video and stuff. Uh, but there's three styles that I've included. Zune Candera, Zune Corbel, and Zune uh, CGO UI. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, so uh, you can pretty much ignore the Styles folder unless you want to add styles to it. Uh, but the one uh, application you're mainly going to be focusing on is this one called Style Selector. If we double click it, uh, I'm going to have to extract it, and I don't really want to do that. Uh, let's just mess around here. Okay, so uh, once you've extracted everything to wherever you want, uh, you can now open up and run the file. So this is Style Selector. Now uh, it's a very small window, but uh, basically what it is is it's where you can choose your theme. Right now I'm running Zune CGO UI, and that's my favorite. Most of the others have some sort of script theme. Uh, you know, like the text in your clock is kind of uh, fancy rather than just basic and straightforward. And uh, everything else looks a bit weird. So my favorite in the three uh, styles I've included, uh, my favorite out of the three is Zune underscore CGO UI. Now what you're gonna do is just open this up. So double click on Zune theme, uh, and then hit allow, and then here you go. I was just talking about this. I don't know why I reopened it. Now what you're going to do is just go to... Uh, there's all these fonts here. Now I would highly suggest just leaving it at CGO UI or whatever comes with the standards in Zune Candera, Zune Corbel, and Zune CGO UI. Uh, you can change the font, which doesn't do much. It changes the text of your clock. It doesn't change the text of your start menu. It just changes the text of everything else. So uh, there you go. And, uh, but basically I wouldn't mess around with the font or the size, I'd just leave it at the default. But what you're going to do is select which one you want. I'd test all three out to see which ones you like. So for this example, just uh, hit Zune CGO UI. Now, um, this is uh, pretty important. What you're going to do is have basic style checked and startup checked. Now the reason you want to have startup checked is because if it isn't checked, you're going to have to do this every single time you uh, boot up Windows. If startup is checked, you should uh, rarely have to open this up ever again. So keep startup checked, select which uh, style you want, hit apply, 
and there we go uh, it just changed the style now that's basically it so whether you're on XP or Vista you can still get the Zune theme uh, I hope you like this theme I've been using it for a few months now and I love it uh, I like it more than the uh, Vista Arrow theme but I like I like the Zune theme a lot it's really really cool and it's really easy to get like I've tried getting Vista glass and all these other weird themes and stuff and most of them weren't that good anyways my favorite so far is uh, the Zune theme I just love it but anyways I hope you like this short video uh, if there's any problems with uh, style selector and Z the Zune theme uh, just leave a comment below I'll try and help you out uh, I don't know but I most likely will. Uh, thanks for watching this video. For more videos like this, check out my channel. Uh, this is Eric Leeson from Techtopia, and uh, see you later.